Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine. Welcome to this project where we are watercoloring a map of ancient Egypt to go along with our three-dimensional pyramids. If you'd like to see the tutorial on how we made these pyramids, you can find that link down in the description box below. So I have the cutouts for our pyramids. I'm going to place them on my watercolor paper. This is very thick watercolor paper because we're going to be moving it around and putting our final pyramids on this paper. And I am just positioning them so I know where to watercolor. I end up doing about two thirds of the paper with brown watercolor paint to signify the sandy desert. And then the lower third, I'm going to be drawing or painting rather the Nile as well as some agriculture that's going to be on the other side of the Nile. All of this ended up taking more space than I expected and our pyramids get a little bit squished on the top half of the page. So if I were to do this again, I would just suggest that the sandy area goes lower, maybe takes up three quarters of the page. So I'm repositioning our paper cutouts just to make sure I've got enough space for some of these other details that I want to add on the other side of the river just to give it some more detail. Now I am following some images that I found online. I will include the links to those images as well if you would like to follow along. They are probably some some parts historical and some parts are an estimation of the different structures that were around the pyramids. I am adding the agriculture partly because I wanted some other colors and partly because the other side of the river is where all of agriculture and the cities and everything took place and it's where the pyramids were was mostly just desert and then all of these additional structures where I decided to include them and I felt like it gave it some interest on that side of the painting. I am using my Winsor Newton watercolors. These watercolors are quite small. I do not think they were intended for an image this big. I probably should have diluted some of our concentrated watercolors and used those instead, but I did want a very specific brown, a sandy brown, and so I ended up going with my Winsor Newton watercolors. You can find the links to all of the different materials that I'm using on the blog post that accompanies this video. So we previously did our pyramids and we did our pyramids to scale but this illustration is definitely not to scale the water source is far bigger and the pyramids are far closer together than they would be if this entire model was to scale i really like this project i really love the way that it turned out in the end i am adding our pyramids now in place and you can see how beautifully they look on this watercolor paper and then it really shows where the positions are. It gives it some context rather than just seeing these pyramids on their own. I hope that you enjoyed this project. I hope you give it a try. If you'd like to see some of the other videos and tutorials in our ancient Egypt main lesson block, you can tap on the screen right now. That entire playlist is also in the description box below. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video for more information and photos and links to all of the materials that we used. And if you'd like to see how we're homeschooling on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.